So what's my final take on the Savol SV-01? Well, very easy to assemble. I had one that on shipment, the box came uh, damaged. Uh, one of the units came scratched. One of the radio fans had an issue. Uh, the filament sensor had an issue. But why am I happy with that? Well, if I'm your customer and I come to you with a problem and immediately within the same sentence, you have a solution, I'm impressed. That's customer service 101. I'm getting a brand new filament sensor and I'm getting a brand new radio fan. Why would I be mad? And then on top of that, even with all that, it still prints as good as it does. I mean, like I said, I had a Mingda D2 that was touted, touted, and this is the best it could do. And again, on a file that was intended for that machine. Now I took that same file and I put it on these two machines. Now, 32-bit board versus 8-bit board. Code specifically designed for that machine, not for this. Silent stepper motors, not non-silent stepper motors. Look. Look at that. And this is longer skin PLA. That's from this one. Both units. I mean, I am blown away. Again, files that were not designed for these machines, the machine said, okay, is that what you want me to do? I'll print. Now, whether it fails or whether it goes forward or not is up to the machine. And the machine took it and it ran like a champ. I printed a Green Lantern in pink. <laughs> Irony. I printed a, a dead tree. I mean, the quality on all the prints is amazing. A cat, a Benchy. Honestly, I have never been able to get the full name on the bottom of the Benchy. See if I can prove that. Nope, I gave them all to my mom. Oh! See? How it comes out like glass because it's all smushed. But yet, like nothing on this wall. Same file. All I did was slice it in Cura 4.7 to the Saval SV01. Uh, and right now I am printing some Pet G upgrades for an Ender 3 that I'm selling. I love it. Easy to use, easy to put together, great customer service, warm group. I mean, any question I've ever had, I have immediate answers. I mean, and they're growing. I got the two Dark Knight editions by Saval SV01 uh, with the blue knobs, uh, the longer tensioning springs. I just love how beautiful it prints. Uh, and it's only an 8-bit board. I'm dead serious. And, and people, why would I want that? Easy, because it works. It prints. It does what you want it to do. It prints PET G as if it was basic PLA. Just like spits it. No issues whatsoever. Except that, which was remedied. My daughter loves the prints. Um, can't find where she put it. Uh, easy to upgrade. Uh, the BL Touch worked. I just didn't like it. Uh, because it's one more thing for me to learn. Then you got to go into the settings. That's for me. It worked. It really did, it worked out the box, but 
I didn't understand it, and I know you have to go into the settings, and I guess my autism and OCD were clashing, and I couldn't go past it. So for me, if these are printing like this with manual bed leveling, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. So Vol, thank you so much. Uh, I watched their live video when they were doing the Dark Knight launch. And I am beyond impressed with everything that they said they would do, they have done. Two thumbs up.